Oh. <laughs> Hello. Excuse me. I, I didn't expect you so soon. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Galen. Now, I'm so glad you could join me today. It is a marvelous story you're going to see. I remember it as it was yesterday. Your spaceship shooting out of the heavens. Oh, what a shock it must have been to discover what the world had come to. <laughs> what a shock it was for me, too. Heavens knows. <laughs> yeah, well, but, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So let us go back and see what it was like. Back to the planet of the apes. Such interesting creatures, your broken burden, and in such a fix. Oh, not to mention the fact that I was up to here my, myself. Hmm. Huh. The bird track down there with that beast Urko. I never did like him, you know, not even one little bit. Yeah, but I suppose we all feel trapped in our world at some time or another. So much to do, so little time in which to do it. But let us see tomorrow, shall we? How much time Burke may have. It was nice of you to come and spend some of your time with me. Until tomorrow, then. <laughs> hey, uh, I was expecting you today. I'm fully prepared for the afternoon. Now, won't you join me? A story, yes, of course. Now, if, if you remember, my astronaut friends, Verdon and Burke, are in quite a fix, you see. Yes, marooned a thousand years in the future. By, by their time, of course. Hunted by my fellow apes. Seeking some silly computer to repair their flying machine, and now trapped by that horrible creature, Urko. Well, let's see what happens, shall we? In the forgotten city of the planet of the apes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, poor Burke and Burden. All those years of training in your world of technology only to be thrust into one of savage barbarity. It's quite inhuman, isn't it? <laughs> well, there I was doing my best to help. My youthful enthusiasm. Yeah, I wonder what's to become of them. Don't you? Of course, uh, it's all history to me now, but then they say that history has a way of repeating itself. Shall I see you tomorrow, then? Good. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh there you are. It's getting easier for me to remember your arrival. Mm. Oh, I do so look forward to our visits. Yeah, much more than I looked forward to helping our astronaut friends, I'm afraid. Well, at the risk of my very own life, I might add. Burke and Burden captured their precious computer disk stolen and Urko on our trail. Goodness, I just, oh. And then, when we least expected that, well, at, uh, I had never seen such treachery and greed on the planet of the apes. Oh. fascinating than the real thing, if you ask me. I do hope that you will be back tomorrow. There's so much more I want to show you. <laughs> and you would. <laughs> Marvelous, isn't it? The human body, how it's evolved. <laughs> oh, personally, I never tire of its complexity. I suppose it all started with Burden and Burke in that hospital. Oh, you remember, Burden's escape from that horrible castle and Urko, and then being shot by his gorillas. Oh, we had no choice but to go to my friend at that hospital. And then I had to steal Dr. Sayers' book on human anatomy. Why, well, it was, a, it was a matter of life, liberty, and pursuit on the planet of the apes. Oh, isn't it a fine kettle of fish poor Burden and Burke find themselves in now? And with nothing but their wits to depend on. And me, back in that musty cave, knowing the worst had happened, well, which of course it had. Well, what do you expect from such headstrong humans? <laughs> yeah, and their empty-headed chimpanzee friend, I suppose. But then what I had to go through to try and get them out, why, well, oh, that, that was quite an adventure. Well, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, then, for the final chapter. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful, marvelous you're here. <laughs> ah, little projects do help one pass the time, don't they? I'm almost finished with mine. 
Alas, I'm afraid that our time is nearly at an end, too. And here we are, Burke and Verdon, not any closer to home than they were before. Nothing but fish catchers in that horrible work camp, yeah. depending upon the uh, inferior intelligence of their ape companion. <laughs> Now, what would your Charles Darwin say to that in our farewell to the planet of the apes? And there you have it. And there you have it. Verdon and Burke, oh, well, they found their computer in another city and disappeared into space as suddenly as they had arrived. What about me? Mm, I certainly could have gone with them. Back to your time, your world, uh, where apes are kept in zoos. Uh, uh, tell me now, would you have come to my world willingly? Hmm? You will, eventually. Of course. It's only a matter of time.